Welcome to Sweet Rep's Beginner's Guide to NetSuite Development, where you can learn how to take your Sweet Scripting to the next level. Let's take a look at the basic components of the Sweet Script 2.0 script. First, Sweet Script 2.0 has a modular architecture. In other words, the API is broken down into modules, and you have to tell every script which modules you will be using. For example, if you need to do something with a record, like loading a record or setting a value on a record, you need the record module. If you need to create a scripted search, you need the search module. Including those modules in your script would look like this. The next fundamental part of every suite script is a section that defines the API version and the script type. Don't skip this part. When you upload the script to NetSuite, NetSuite has to know the version and the script type in order to run your script. After you add the section to your script, this is what your script should look like. Now you have to add a function for every trigger that the script will need. If you do add those triggers in, this is what your script should look like. You may want the script to do something every time a field changes, or you may want to check on something every time you click the save button. In that case, you would need to include trigger functions for when a user changes a field and saves a record. After you add in your functions for each trigger, you have to return an object that will tell NetSuite what function to use for each particular trigger. And if you don't know what we mean by object, don't worry. We'll explain that in later videos. Here's what our script looks like now. Those are the bare minimum elements that you need to include when you develop any script with SuiteScript 2.0 the modules you're using, the script version and type, functions for each trigger, and an object to return for each function. Stay tuned for more videos on the basics of coding in SuiteScript 2.0. In later videos, we will go into more detail and add some things to the script to make it come alive and actually do something in NetSuite. Thanks for watching. To see more of our videos on NetSuite development, be sure to follow us on LinkedIn, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit us at suiterep.com.